for a minute I was like is it just me like is it am I doing something wrong um, so I just want to vent for a little bit and let people know that they're like it's not you it's whatever the fuck is going on in this economy hey guys so I don't even really know by the way that's not dirty clothes anyways well the basket is for dirty clothes but those are not dirty anyways um I don't really know what this is gonna be I kind of just feel like I want to talk um so that's what I'm gonna do because this channel is also for mental health purposes so I kind of just want to talk I look very odd right now I don't like the single do you like the amber lighting I think I like the amber lighting better so I'm gonna scooch over here to his side of the bed I mean, that's not <laughs> This is fine. Um, so, basically, I just want to talk. Because I've been feeling some kind of way. So, basically, finding a job is kind of hard right now. And people are all out here saying nobody wants to work. But it's not that nobody wants to work. It's that nobody's actually hiring. Like, I have applied. I've said this in another video before. But I have over seven years of experience in like different things and it's like not different things that it's like completely different things like they all are very they all have things in common so it's not like it's outside of the experience like all the experience can be counted together is what i'm saying so i've applied to over 90 jobs 90 and I've gotten I've gotten interviews like don't get me wrong I've gotten some interviews um, but they end up going with other people which you know I'm happy that those people are getting jobs but it's just like why should I <laughs> why am I applying to over 90 jobs with so much so much experience and it's like like okay so I do right now I have an orientation set up it's at Target you think I want to work at Target? No. But the thing is, I'm the type of person is it's it's like I'm not going to sit around and and I'm saying I don't want to work at Target because I have enough experience to not have to work at Target like in in a floor not supervisor like a entry level. I have enough experience to not work entry level retail positions. I've done that. I did it three different times and it's just like I have enough experience to not have to do entry-level retail is basically what I'm saying so I'm working under what my ex experience has gained me and that's why I'm saying I don't want to work at Target because it's like I I have enough experience where I, I, I can make more money basically um, but I'm not gonna sit around way longer than I need to and not have a job just because I feel like my qualifications are higher than entry-level retail which they are but I need, some, I need to get a check like I don't like not having income it's not really it's not really for me um I was I was lucky and and blessed enough to be able to save up enough where uh before I moved where I'm okay like rent wise and stuff until next year like January or so if I don't get a job but the thing is who want to do it <laughs> like I don't want to I don't want to deplete everything I've saved just because I like I feel too proud to work at Target like that's not me if I need to work at Target I'm going to work at Target so I have an orientation as you can imagine I applied for that and they called me the next day and it was like can we do an interview or like no they had me record myself I replied and then like an hour later I got an email telling me to record myself for a virtual interview I did that and I sent that in and they called me the next day and were like you want a job and that's because of my like th that 
quick as turnover is because I have more than enough experience. But anyways, so I have an orientation with them, but I've been trying to get jobs that are more to what I kind of want. Um, so I had, I just had an interview the, yesterday. I had an interview about 10 minutes ago and then um, I'm getting an email to set up another interview with, uh, or a second interview with um, another place tomorrow or not, not set it up tomorrow, but she emailed me to get times so that they could set it up. Um, so I'm very grateful for that. But it's like, what are the people, like, the people who don't have ex as much experience, what opportunities are they having? It's not about people don't want to work. It's about people setting high-ass standards or people putting out fake job job things like i've replied to some things that i have more than enough qualifications for and less than an hour they're like no send me a rejection and i'm just like who like if i have more than enough experience for this why it and that happened a, a lot of uh, a few times so i'm like then who like i think if people want people to work they should one stop paying dirt I'm looking at you. I, you know what? I'm not going to say the, the name of the company. I'm not going to do that. But my last retail position, it was in 2021. They paid $1 more than I got paid, which was the bottom of minimum wage, in 2015. 2021, they paid one more dollar than I got paid in <laughs> 2015. I'm not going to say the name of the company, but let's just say they're a bargain. And let's just say it begins with an M. And let's just say it has two L's in it. And, like, people want to pay prices like that and then wondering why people... Because you can't survive off of things like that unless you're working, like, 45, 50 hours a week in retail with crap management. Not all retail has crap man management. I've had a retail job for years that didn't um until i got one manager who, but it's just like or the people who want you to to they want so much out of you and they want to pay you pennies like i was flabbergasted by some of the jobs that i saw that all of the things they wanted you to do for what amount of money and i'm like people don't People don't want these jobs because they they want so much out of you. They want to string you and like ring you dry and don't pay you anything. And I'm just like, and then the jobs that are actually fair pricing and give you good benefits and, act, and, and it looks like a good environment, everybody's applying to those. So you have so much competition and then you have the jobs that are just putting out listings to make it look like they're looking for people and then reject everybody. And it's just like, it's so hard to, like, you're playing with people's livelihoods, you're playing with their lives, you're playing with their, you're playing with their homes. And for what reason? You want people to work, pay them more, and they will work. You want people to work, stop treating them like shit, and they will work. It's not that hard. I like, <laughs> And so that whole people don't want to work is a complete, I mean, I already knew it was a complete lie, but it's, it's, it's just mind boggling to have to apply to over 90 jobs to, to get like a good amount of energy. Like, I just, it doesn't, I don't understand. I don't understand. Um, so I just kind of wanted to vent about that and like let people other people know who are kind of going through the same thing um that is not because for a minute I was like is it just me like is it am I doing something wrong um so I just want to vent for a little bit and let people know that they're like it's not you it's whatever the fuck is going on in this economy <laughs> that's got employers going crazy um so yeah, I have a, I, you know, I've been getting good interviews. I've had a good amount of them. Um, 
and I'm thankful. I'm very blessed. I'm very thankful and I'm and I'm grateful that I'm even getting those interviews and um and seeing how those interviews play out as well. Um I made sure to apply to a good handful of things that I was overqualified for, but also things that I am just qualified for and that I would enjoy or what I, I wouldn't mind working. I looked at the schedules and and saw the work hours and everything like that um, to make sure that I did apply to some that I wouldn't <laughs> I wouldn't like be sad to work at. I wouldn't just be working there just because I need to have a paycheck type of places. So yeah, I'm 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 hoping and I feel as though those interviews would turn out well and we'll see how that works and then um, however Target works out um, you know I think Target will be fine like I said I'm used to retail I know what to expect going into retail um, but Target was always just a uh, just so I could have some kind of income while I'm looking for these jobs type of position. Um, so yeah, that's kind of what's going on. Um, for a while I was very stressed. And like I said, I, I was able to save up enough for rent and like my car note and stuff like that until next year. But it's very unsettling. Even if I have like that little, I had that little, um, place to fall back on uh that the cash to fall back on I it was very nerve-wracking it was very unsettling it was it was sometimes even kind of scary like I remember one place I really wanted I had an interview there they called me and then like I had an interview there they contacted me the next day and were like can you come back in so I was like yeah I came back in and it was like a five minute interview for the second one and they're like okay and then I go and then it w they went ghost and so I was like hello like can you tell me what's going on and they're like oh yeah we went with somebody else and it's just like at that time when I when I found out that they went with somebody else it's like like I said it's great for that person like I'm not gonna knock people for also looking for jobs that doesn't make sense but I don't really understand why they wouldn't make me come in for the second time for a five minute interview. Like you made me use gas and drive over there for a five minute interview to not have the decency to say, oh yeah, we went with somebody else until I reached back out and was like, what's going on? And that time I did tear up a little bit because I did want that position and it's just like, it's frustrating and it's hard to try and reach for these things and it's like it feel it kind of feels like people are toying with you in in some cases but yeah I just wanted to put like a, a little rand out and uh kind of get that off my chest because it's it's even though I'm still going through it you know like I can only really reach why am I <laughs> getting emotional I can only really reach for the positive in these situations. Um, I tend to kind of always try to think positively and, and kind of like repel negative things. Um, like maybe I wasn't meant to get that job, maybe I wasn't meant to get another job. Kind of like, okay, I'm gonna wrap this up soon, but kind of like when um, I was working at my last retail place and I was applying, I didn't have to apply for nearly as many jobs, but I applied for a couple. And then the one that I met my boyfriend at, I just saw it there and I was like, you know what, it's close to my house, like, I'll just apply, I don't care. So I just applied for it, got an interview, and they hired me very quickly. Um, and I still remember the first day I walked in there and I, and I saw my man standing there. At the time, I didn't know he was going to be my man's, I didn't know I was going to move across the country to live with him in less than a year. I didn't know any of that. But that's where I met my boyfriend. And now I live in Oregon. Um, so I wasn't meant to get those other jobs that I had applied for. I was meant to get that one. Um, so, you know, I, I try to look for positive things like that. Maybe I wasn't meant to get that 
one job that I wanted. Maybe I was meant to get one of the ones that I'm applying, uh, I'm interviewing for now. Maybe I was meant to get one um, that I inter interview for later. I don't know, but even though you kind of like look for positivity, you also have to realize that you are human and it's okay to have, to be sad, to be stressed, to be frustrated. And I kind of let myself feel those as well when my body allows it. <laughs> I kind of let myself feel those as well. But then, you know, I, I feel those and then I'm like, okay, but what can I bring out that's positive in the situation and, and keep pushing forward? That's all you can really do. But yeah, that's kind of what's been going on in my head um, concerning a job. And I will update you guys in some other vlog Ow. about um, interviewing and um, if I land one of these other jobs. I, I will be sure to, I because I'll be hyped. I'll be like, <laughs> um, But yeah, I will let you guys know. And I will see you in the next video.